Hey everybody, Jep here, and today we're getting into all of the hidden secrets of Reyna's lore here in Valorant. Reyna just might have the highest kill count of any agent in the lore of Valorant, especially with the long history of battles she's fought in. She's as ruthless as they come, not giving a single ounce of mercy to any enemy she faces. She sees people as just fuel for her body and genuinely believes that Radiance should rule the world and ultimately the universe. So guys, let's get into everything I found, but if you enjoy these Valorant lore videos that I'm making, then make sure to subscribe so you're more likely to get recommended these videos from the algorithm. Okay, now let's take a look into the world of Reyna. So starting off with the earliest pieces of information we have regarding Reyna is that she's from the country of Mexico. We know that she's fairly young as the voice actress that plays Reyna said in an interview that Reyna is in her 20s. But what's really interesting about all this is that based on what Reyna says in her voice lines, she's lived for a very, very long time. I'm going to explain on why I don't believe Reyna is from this world and well here's why a ton of reyna's voice lines hint that she was in massive battles and wars in the past there's just absolutely no way she could be in her 20s and has gone through everything that i'm about to tell you here's a voice line that proves she's older than she looks oh jit i remember being so young it's good that she'll die before feeling old like me now, Jet is regarded as being the youngest agent on the protocol in her young 20s, which should only be a few years off of Reyna, right? Now, here's why I think Reyna is not from this earth and just so happened to originate in Mexico when she arrived here. Countless voice lines tell us of tons of enemies she's killed, but the way she says them just doesn't sound like normal humans she's slayed. Here's what I mean. I've stood over so many corpses. A few more? does not matter this enemy is nothing special still human still mortal i have lied beaten killed to survive i will kill again and again if it means one more day i can go on and on but you guys get the point she has what seems like lifetimes of carnage and war under her belt now unless she was like a soldier in world war ii or something i can't think of any major major human conflicts in our near history with that amount of loss of life reina describes especially with ko's lore and history we know that there have been massive galactic battles between radiance and non-radiance in alternate universes i won't get into too much of it for today's video in case you guys want a whole ko lore video where i'll talk much more about that in that video but it's a fact that there have been multiple Reynas across multiple realities that have done nothing but shred carnage across worlds. Maybe our Reyna on our Earth escaped the battles and landed here on our Earth? I think even though Reyna hates technology and wants to see Radiance rule the world, she thinks of Earth as her home. Well, for now. As much as this world hurt me, it's mine and I will kill to defend it. So obviously she has a special connection with Earth and does not want to see it go extinct and will protect it with her life from the mirror agents on mirror Earth. We'll talk more about the part where she said, quote, as much as this world hurts me later, just trust me, it's great information. Well guys, so we know that Earth is her home right now and she cares deeply about it. But I found a voice sign that may lead me to believe that Reyna travels from our Earth to wherever she comes from frequently. My city needs me. I can't be away for long. Let's send this quickly. She says this when spawning into a map of Valorant. Now that can mean one of two things. One, it could be the city she grew up in in Mexico where she comes from on Earth, or it means that there is a great city on another planet that is truly where she originated from and makes trips there and back to Earth. We have suspicions that Reyna isn't even human, as you see Astra constantly calling Reyna a creature. And remember, Astra is the guardian of the cosmos and has seen countless worlds. Waste that Reyna creature. End her. That creature is dead. 
So now we know that Reyna is likely not human, likely not from this earth, and likely much older than she appears. And the only reason why I say likely is because Riot has never officially confirmed any of this, but man, when the dots line up, it's really hard not to connect them and form some theories on her origins. Well, we talked all about Reyna's origins. Now let's talk about her experiences on Earth and why she formed such an attachment to it, even though it's hurt her in her past. So Earth means a lot to Reyna, and it could very well be all because of a little girl that Reyna loved and looked after here on Earth. We don't know this little girl's name, but man, is she important to the storyline of Valorant. So the only image we ever get of her is this right here, where we see Viper before she worked on the Valorant protocol, walking a kid into a kingdom laboratory. And as soon as she walks through those doors, her fate was sealed. It's well known across the community of Valorant that Viper was the one that most likely experimented on this little girl, which led to her either going missing or dying. Probably dying though. We know this girl meant so much to Reyna as we hear a voice line coming from her saying this. For you, hermanita. Now guys, Hermanita means little sister, so it sounds like Reyna is fighting to avenge her little sister's death. We don't know if she was a Radiant as well, and maybe that's why Viper experimented on the little girl, or if she was just a normal person. A lot of stuff in Valorant's lore is either very vague or left to interpretation. We can see this player card named Revenge for Life, where we see Reyna using her powers to kill three people. It's too hard to see if they are kingdom related or not, but obviously this goes hand in hand with the fact she lost her little sister and is getting payback for it. I wonder if she knows Viper was the one who did it. Well, anyways, we know that Reyna doesn't like some agents on the protocol, while others she gets along fine with. Of course, she doesn't like technology and believes it to be a mistake for humanity to rely on it. Oh, do your little machines need help? Take your time. We Radiantes will start without you. Today is a gift to Radiance. We're finally free to use our power. Enough of your technology. The future is radiant. So, on the topic of Reyna hating technology and feeling it to be an insult to Radiance, which agent on the Valorant Protocol is all about high tech? Hmm. Well, if you answered Killjoy, then you'd be correct. So it kind of makes sense that Reyna wouldn't really like Killjoy, right? Killjoy is an offense to my Radiance. I'll break her apart. I remember the machines Killjoy made. What they did to... Never mind. It does not matter. I don't care how bright you are. You'll never be a Radiant. It always feels like Reyna is after me personally. Does anyone else feel that way? Uh, no? Just me? So, there is a very, very important line we just heard right there. The part where Reyna says she remembers Killjoy's machines and what they did before she cut herself off from saying any more. This doubles down on the theory for me that she is simply just not from this world and comes from an alternate universe. Because you think Killjoy would remember, right, if she went to battle against Reyna because the Radiants were wanting to rise to power and take over the world, right? Well, this makes me think that whatever universe Reyna comes from, Killjoy was extremely powerful and built insane technology that obviously did massive harm to either Reyna or Radiance she knew. Interesting. Well, here are some more people that she doesn't necessarily enjoy on Valorant. We already went over how Astra doesn't really like Reyna at all and believes her to be a creature. If that brainstorm is like ours, he's not going to quit. Let's make him retire, shall we? Ugh, I can't deal with the morality of yet another Brimstone. The hypocrisy. I'll silence him. Reyna, there are better ways to survive than your path. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Pobre de mí. How will I live with myself? Sage, we are the perfect pair. You give life. I take it. Now, I don't think Reyna necessarily doesn't like Sage, probably just the fact that Sage gives life when Reyna is all about murder and feeding herself from her enemies. Other than that, guys, there really aren't many agents Reyna has a problem with. In fact, she likes most agents on the protocol and commends them frequently. I like the way you work, Bridge. Violento. Me gusta. Jit, you're very talented. Aim for the neck. 
Is he killed? Oh, man, shall we see who cuts quicker? No harm in a little competition. See you on the front lines, Phoenix. Save some enemies for me. Grace? Good. Never lose your voice. Sky, this is just the beginning of your power. I'm impressed, Sova. Even with blood in your hands, you're keeping control. Ah, oh, Viper, must you always play with your food? Their Viper is terrifying. I love it. Now, that pretty much seals the deal for me that Reyna is unaware of what really happened to her sister. Because if she did know that Viper was the reason for it, there would be no way Reyna would let Viper live this long and pretend to like her. Now, I'm sure there'll be tons more of information coming out in the future of the Radiant Wars that took place in an alternate universe between Radiance and humanity. But for today, I think that's enough for Reyna's lore. So make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out!